in the time to come, the Forerunners would be revered as enigmatic gods, their creations viewed as the work of a civilization beyond comprehension. But, as is often the case, the truth is rarely so simple. The Forerunners were beings of great ability, but were, nonetheless, as flawed as anything else in creation. An understanding of Forerunner society is vital for understanding the fate of their civilization. All Forerunners would be born as Manipulars, more or less their natural form. When they were deemed ready, Manipulars would be assigned to a rate, or caste. While this was usually the same rate as their lineage, it was possible for a Manipular to choose a different rate, although this would often be met with rejection by a Forerunner's family. The mutation would alter the appearance and abilities of the Forerunner, usually to something more fit to the work that they would undertake as part of their new rate. Forerunners would often undergo several mutations during their life, but this was not the rule. All Forerunner society was governed by the Ecumene Council, led by the first counselor and composed of 500 other counselors. This governing body was supported by a network of Ancillas, Forerunner AI, known as the Council Metaarchy. Though the council was comprised of forerunners from many rates, rates with political clout could sway the balance of power. Though highly advanced, all of forerunner society surrounded these rigid castes, the rates, which alone determined one's societal standing. At the top of the societal caste were the builders. As the name implies, they were responsible for the creation and construction of much within forerunner society, including technologies, architecture, weapons, ships, and the various megastructures forerunners are most commonly associated with. From early in Forerunner society, the Builders had an obsession with the accumulation of wealth and power, resulting in the standing they observed before the fall of Forerunner society. Over the course of time, the Builder rate absorbed or eliminated several other rates, such as the Theoreticals, which only added to their power. Following the end of the Human Forerunner War and the eventual disgrace of the Warrior Servant rate, many Warriors changed to the Builder rate, becoming part of the newly established Builder Security. The Builder rate was led by the Master Builder. Below the Builders were the Miners. Miners were largely responsible for the acquisition of material for Builder and various other Forerunner projects. They were also known for their planetary and stellar engineering projects. Stellar engineers were colloquially known as Plasma Jockeys, their job being to tame young stars for future use. While very successful, Plasma Jockeys were known to simply disappear after several centuries, their fates unknown. Life workers were the rate dedicated to the study of biology and medicine and experimentation with various forms of life. When the Halo Array was being constructed, the life workers were charged with the preservation of all forms of life throughout the galaxy, creating artificial environments on the Halo Rings and the Arcs for the purpose of specimen storage. This effort was known as the Conservation Measure. The highest rank achievable by a life worker was Life Shaper, a rank only known to have been held by four forerunners. Among them was the forerunner known as the Librarian. Near the bottom of the Forerunner cast were the Warrior's Servants, the military might of Forerunner society. While their role was vital to maintaining the Ecumene, their work was seen as contradictory to the principles of the Mantle, upon which all Forerunner society was built. This in part contributed to their low standing. Among the Warrior Servants were a group known as the Prometheans. These were the elites and held considerable power among their rate and Forerunner society as a whole. However, following the Human Forerunner War, the Prometheans soon fell out of favor due to disagreements between the Master Builder and the Didact. This resulted in shame for many Prometheans and the whole of the Warrior Servant rate. Warrior Servants were unique in many ways, such as their heightened sense of perception which lent itself to combat. Almost unique to the Warrior Servants was a process known as a Brevet Mutation. While standard mutation would take place over the course of several years, a brevet mutation would take place in a matter of days, often carrying a high risk of complication. Such mutations were usually reserved for wartime and desperate occasions. Another aspect unique to warrior servant culture were the cryptums, also known as warrior keeps. While once utilized by other rates, they were most commonly associated with the warrior servants. Cryptums were often used as a form of exile when a forerunner was disgraced or had failed in some capacity though there have been cases of voluntary entry. When in a cryptum, the occupant would enter a state of timeless meditative hibernation known as Zankara. A forerunner's mind would be wholly immersed in the domain, able to explore the vast sea of information stored there. With a standard cryptum, a ritual would often accompany a forerunner's entry, and the forerunner's body would maintain a vitrified state. A rare form of cryptum known as a combat cryptum 
functioned almost like normal cryptums without the vitrification of the Forerunner and the extended awakening process that normally followed. Juridicals were a rate that served the Council directly. As their name implies, they acted as the judiciary arm of the Council, responsible for researching legal matters and collecting evidence. To help with the gathering of testimony and evidence, the Juridicals utilized a collective known as Catalog. Comprised of several heavily modified Forerunners, Catalog was treated as a single entity as information was shared between individual Catalog units via the Juridical Network. The Juridical Rate was led by the Master Juridical. A Pseudo-Rate A Harispus was a Forerunner entrusted with the study and watch of the Domain. Often seen working with the Juridical Rate, a Harispus's task was to aid Forerunners in the navigation of the Domain, acting as an intermediary. Like Catalog, Harispus was seen as a singular entity. The Hurigak were artificial lifeforms utilized by many Forerunner rates, each species suited to the work of the rate that they were used by. Lifeworker Hurigak were specialized in healing the biological, while Builder Hurigak, also known as engineers, were essentially biological computers, capable of interfacing with almost any Forerunner and alien technology. The engineers specifically were also recognized as a formal rate, according to a Forerunner record found at Shield Installation 0006, known as the Born Stellar Relation. The reason for this, and whether this was extended to other Hurigak types, is unknown. Rate was status, and status was everything in Forerunner society. Over the course of millions of years, rates rose and fell, were born and died, until the six main rates remained in those last millennia of Forerunner society. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.